share another update. It is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015, and I am 24 days post-op from my VSG surgery. Things have been getting so much better in the past you know, week or so that I checked in last. I'm finally feeling a little bit more normal. I'm really excited. I've been able to go back to the gym, even just for, you know, a mild workout, walking on the treadmill, doing some weights. But I'm just glad I can get back in the gym and back to my usual routine. I'm not so sore anymore. I don't have so much pain on this side. So I'm really glad I can get back into the swing of things. So my progress so far is I'm down 54 pounds total from the very beginning, and I am down 37 pounds from my surgery date. Before surgery, I went and bought a Fitbit so I can keep track of my steps and my calories that I'm burning every day. So it's good motivation and it's pretty convenient, and I love that I can set it up through my my fitness pal app yes I use my fitness pal every day it really helps keep track of my protein intake and calories for the day and whatnot if you guys aren't using it you really should it's so convenient it's so awesome if you want you can add me same as my Instagram name whoa we cannot see that it's Angda and we can be friends I was talking with one of my mom's friends about the whole experience and everything and how, you know, now that I'm recovering almost fully, I can focus on my weight loss right now. And my whole outlook on everything is like shifting. Like my priorities are changing completely. You know, before, and I'm sure a lot of people pre-op can, really anyone in my situation, can agree with me and relate to me in that when you are literally addicted to food, that's all you think about all day long. When you wake up, what am I gonna eat for breakfast? What's the next meal? When's my next snack? What can I get my hands on? Then with stress and work and woman problems, you crave food more than ever. And so it's, it's really just a vicious cycle you can't stop. So now that my focus is off of food for the most part, I'm starting to think more about what I want to do with my free time, what kind of hobbies or activities can I get myself into, and with this slight boost to confidence so far in my progress, it's really going to help me get out there and stop being so caged in physically and emotionally. Then when you choose to find that happiness, it just kind of is a ripple effect in your life. It can affect your outlook on everything. And that's really one of the things I'm most looking forward to in this whole journey. I've been able to get out of the house somewhat, not only to the gym, but running to the store for more of my um, food options and whatnot. I've been drinking some low sodium V8s. I love them for my vegetable intake. I'm still technically on pureed. So these are really awesome and these 5.5 ounce cans are really the perfect size. Low sodium too. So I'm getting out and walking more, just like I said, feeling more normal. So I kind of want to do something fun in my next video because um, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new followers on Instagram, a lot more people tagging along on this journey and really getting involved. So I kind of want to do like a question and answer type video for anyone out there who's maybe not sure who I am, what I do, why I'm here, and that can be kind of fun. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in this video's comment box. You can leave them on my Instagram or really wherever. I'll try to get as many questions as I can. So thanks for tuning in on this short update. Just letting you guys know things are going well. I'm almost back 100% and I'm looking forward to my future. So if you're in my same boat, good luck to you. A lot of folks online are getting approved for surgery, getting their surgery dates, or just had surgery. So mwah, all my love to all of you guys, speedy recoveries, all that stuff. My online support's been awesome, so I really can't thank you guys enough. So subscribe to my channel if you want to get all my updates and check me out on Instagram 
for all the funny stuff that goes on over there. I don't just post weight loss surgery updates. I'm obsessed with Dub Smash. See you over there, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!